everyone, welcome to Seek Some Gaming. Hello, Rachel. We are in a map called the Study of Insanity. Your head hurts like hell. Where is everyone? All right. That's a good description. Kind of. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I didn't even read who the author was of this. Uh, I might have said it. Um, you guys want to try the map out? Look in the download link below. And there you go. So let's get started right now. I love you. You too. Numb. I'm waiting for the map to load. There we go. I got a journal entry. Move you fat ass. You just sit here. Find a lantern. Fast. Find a lantern. And fast. There's a tinder box. No lantern though. Another tinder box. Another tinder box. So we already got three. I feel like the sensitivity is way too high right now. Is there a way to change this? Hmm, it is low. I don't know. Henry's Journal, Day 1 Arrival. After an initial inspection of the house, we are finally settling in, and I actually have time to start recording our findings. Melissa confirmed that the construction of the house seems to match common 18th century European designs. Beyond its size and remote location, what's drawn our team to this house is its condition. It doesn't, it doesn't look like this place has been touched in hundreds of years. Alton has been throwing out figures all day, inspecting anything his nose says might be valuable. I'm still mystified why he went into anthropology like myself instead of antique dealing. Still, he's kept our department well financed, so I can't complain too much. Hearing Alton's remarks on how valuable some of these materials are leaves me further surprised at how this house has remained untouched over the years. I'm sure some of the furniture and decorations would fetch some high prices. How could we be so fortunate thieves haven't ransacked this place yet? Oh yeah, and by the way, guys, the description of this map, it's like a... Uh, a university of people came here, like from a college or whatever. Frank keeps saying it's probably haunted, which I hope is just a juvenile means to tease us. I wouldn't tolerate his jokes except he was kind enough to drive us to the location and he was the person who first discovered the house. I'm glad he alerted our university rather than some cutthroat treasure hunters. I think this place has some real value to the historical society. Okay. Alright guys, I'm sorry. This sensitivity is just bothering the hell out of me. I don't remember it ever being that bad. Is that better? Kind of. I don't know. Hold on. I think the higher I put it up, the worse it's getting. Yeah, he's turning even quicker now. Let me move it down. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Is that better? Yeah, that's kind of better. You know what? I'm just gonna put it back. I'm sorry, guys. Let's let's just put it back. I'm picky on this stuff. The lock's completely broken. Shit, and we don't have a lantern? Are you serious? This is bad news, guys. Shit. Shit. 
and use general day one library books. As a historian is likened to do, I found Melissa going through the books in the East Library. She tells me there are several dozen copies of the Bible in here, and they are all in immaculate condition, as if they had rarely been opened. This struck us as strange, since they since there wasn't much else to read back in that day and age, not to mention the cultural pressure to have it practical memorized. Then again, religion has changed hands in this region so many times. There, are, These are probably cover for when Catholicism had its turn of dominance. The only other books Melissa has found seem to be books on anat anatomy? Anatomy? <laughs> I'm sorry. And a few on wine keeping. A key can't be too far. It's gotta be a key somewhere, somewhere. Let's look around. Show me, show me. What's that? <gasps> ah! I'm not too scared. No monsters so far. Journal Day One Secret Passage. I wonder how long it's been since this study was used for its intended purpose. Like most of the rooms in this house, it's very spacious. I have the impression this house was intended for a large number of guests and occupants. Melissa has been suggesting there might be some secret rooms or passages, most likely. Priest rooms are similar. Alton and Frank have been looking all over for switches and movable walls. I'm not convinced. But I won't dismiss the idea entirely. In fact, I keep feeling a draft sitting at this desk. I've checked the window. It's shut tight. Where else could a breeze be coming from? Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, boy, it's a ghost, I think. Oh, boy. The window's shut tight. <gasps> it's always what Rachel says. There is hidden behind a bookshelf, Rachel. She's always good at finding this. You, you guys can thank Rachel for that, because that probably would have taken me forever to find. I'm not really normal to be checking. I normally don't check behind bookshelves. Secret passageway. Okay, it says it may be difficult to explore the rest of this house without a lantern. Okay, so I'm going a little too far ahead. Let me go back. I need to find that damn lantern. Maybe it's in here. I keep finding tinder boxes, but I don't give a shit about these. Sorry, tinder boxes. I don't mean to hurt your feelings. Henry's journal, day one supplies. It never matters how well prepared you come to a job like this. Packed extra batteries for the flashlight, and what do you know? They're the rechargeable kind and all lack of charge. I will admit this was all my fault. Of course, Alton tries to cheer me up saying he brought the charger and asks, without the slightest hint of irony, where he can find a socket. Frank, the guy who I don't think even has a high school degree, thought to bring some tinder boxes and some kerosene lanterns. Electricity is still unreliable in this area of Europe, so in his town, they still use candlelight. In case Alton manages to lose something as large as a lantern, We'll keep one in the storage room next to the library. There you go! In case Alton manages to lose something, we'll keep one in the storage room next to the library. It's surprisingly clean and organized in there, so our stuff should be easy to find. I have to hand it to the previous owners to keeping things nice and tidy for us. Okay, storage room next to the library. I don't know if this is the storage room or what. Don't worry, we're going to find this lantern. I don't care how long it takes us. Well, actually, I kind of do, but... Um, I'm going to search until we find it. It might be in here. Okay, really? Why so hard? I think it would be that hard to find it. Might be in there. Let's see. Huh! We found it. 
I found it, Rachel. <laughs> Yay! Lantern's probably one of the most important things in this game. And some oil. Perfecto. Okay. Magnifico! So let's continue from there. Oh, I found another thing of... See, guys, this is why, like, you gotta, like, spend a lot of time searching. Look how much stuff I find. I literally feel like I'm finding everything there is to find. Because I'm searching everywhere. Okay, now something was talking about finding a key. I know that we still haven't found that. Yes, there's a key somewhere. key somewhere to get that thing open. So let's just go ahead and move on. Well, I might even be able to cheat to tell you the truth. See? I don't want to be rude and do that. But, uh, something you guys can do on maps is you can literally just cheat to get keys out. If they're put, like, right there, you just op you crack it open and just pull it out. It's really easy to cheat nowadays. On games, um, you know, they, I almost say they make it too easy, basically. Let's go ahead and play fair, though, and let's just see what happens if we go this way. This is what we're supposed to be doing. You guys don't want me cheating too much. We'll be fair. Who knows, maybe there's supposed to be a huge monster pop out that's supposed to scare Rachel like crazy. You can't miss that, right, Rachel? Okay. Let's save that hallway, it's kinda dark. Henry's journal, day one, keys and locked doors. Why couldn't the former owners been kind enough to leave all their doors unlocked? So far we found the coat closet. By the entrance is locked. Their back door is locked, the kitchen storage room is locked, the basement is locked, and the door to the second floor is locked. We spent much of the day hunting around for keys. Alton found the key to the second floor in the wine storage of all places. He then immediately lost it, of course. I found it on the floor right outside the guest room where he made our base camp for now. Apparently the holes in his pockets have gone big enough to lose massive 18th century keys. I keep telling him to get some goddamn new clothes, that cheap bastard. If we lose any more keys, I'm blaming him. 
We'll keep our collection in the guest bedroom here on the first floor. Okay, these researchers must have all died. Their stuff is just laying around here. Got a hammer, I think I know what that's gonna do. I mean better instead of stupid like in that monster video where Rachel's laughing at me. Freaking took me like five minutes to figure out that I had to use a knife. You guys gotta watch that video. Journal Day 3 Trapped. We've, we're still stuck in the first floor guest room. It's not because we've braced anything in the room up against the door. It's that we don't know what's going on. This is stupid. We're too afraid to just walk out. It was just... I keep telling myself it was just the wind. It's howling something mad out there right now. That isn't what it sounded like. We were all looking for Frank when Melissa ran up to us, completely hysterical. She was screaming that she saw something out there. We brought her in the guest bedroom. Tried to get her to calm down. We asked if it was Frank, but she kept saying she didn't know. Me and Alton thought she was overreacting. We were trying to talk her down when something slammed into the door, something big and heavy. We've been dead silent since. It had to have been the wind. I think our imaginations are making that sound out to be more than it was. But after what we saw in the cellar, I don't know. I don't know what to believe anymore. One of the walls have just about crumbled and I think I see the workshop on the other side. We're going to try and dig our way through. Mm. Well. Sound. Shit. Why does there have to be so many paintings? Jesus, this map is hard. There's so much stuff going on at once here.
Great, we're in, we're in the wine cellar. Henry's Journal, Day 1, Keys in Odd Places. The wine storage seems to be pretty well stocked. I'm still amazed nobody has broken into this place and made off with some of these bottles. Some of these, I think, are over 200 years old. The group and I have been discussing opening one of these. We do need to preserve everything and anything, but I have to admit I'm tempted. The odd thing, though, is why is there a wine storage on the first floor? This house is a cellar which is where you should put your wine if you're storing it like this. Very odd. There's so many rooms. Oh my god. Henry's Journal, Day 2, pre Apprehension. I've been arguing with Frank most of the morning. He refuses to come down with us into the cellar. I know his nerves are worked up after last night, but this is ridiculous. Normally, I wouldn't bother with someone not part of the, our team tagging along for an examination like this, but now it's a matter of principle. If anything is going to convince this simpleton, there's nothing supernatural in this house. I need to see the rest of this house for my, himself. That and after the way he's been acting, I'm concerned that he might damage something priceless or steal something and drive off without us. And okay, I'll admit, I want everyone together when we go down there. Maybe I'm a bit spooked too. Maybe I want to convince myself there's nothing to be afraid of as much as I want to convince Frank. Me and Frank might not be the only ones. I just saw Melissa walk by with a crowbar. I'm going to tell myself she's just taking it along in case we find any doors with busted locks. Mm, they're getting scared. I'm getting scared too. Henry's Journal, Day 2, not a cellar. Our first exploration in the cellar uncovered more questions than answers. There is a fairly complex network of tunnels and rooms underneath the house, which seem to have dug out manually. The reinforcements remind me more of a mine than a cellar. We found what feels like a barracks among the rooms down here. We can only presume this area was meant to house significantly more people than the house alone. What was the purpose of this place? What were they doing down here? There it goes again, I keep hearing some rumbling in the rocks. This artificial cave might not be as stable as it looked. Either that or a giant worm is about to burst through the wall and eat us just like that movie. <laughs> uh. Can't remember the name of that movie, I know what they're talking about. Oh, I thought it was locked. Well, there's nothing in there anyways.
interesting. Henry's Journal Day 2 Fungus. I keep noticing that this large species of fungi growing on some of the walls. It's very prevalent down here in the cellar. It must have grown through some of the foundation of the house, as I've seen a few of these mushrooms upstairs on the second floor. I don't think they're poisonous type, but I'm not going to try and find out. I'm a little worried about the structural integrity of this house if this stuff has grown all the way to the second floor. That might explain all the creaking we heard last night. Maybe some of the rumbling we're hearing now. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and stop part one here. We'll see you guys for part two. Rachel? Hello and welcome for part two. We're back here on this map. Hi, Rachel. Yeah, this is crazy. I don't know what that is in the rocks. Is this really going to happen again, this bowl, where it says you can't combine them? Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, creators of this, you know, map didn't do too good at a job um, with making it to where you can combine them. So I had to go out of my own way and do it.